Hi, in this demo, I'm going to take you through the process of creating and defining the attendance shift rules for your organization. Now you can create as many shift rules as your organization has. Uh, I have created two generally at UK. If I need to create a third, I just click on create new rule, rename this to the rule I want it to be called. I'm going to say shift, US shift and hit save. So uh, that's how I've created a new shift rule. But to define what my US shift is, I need to go to the timing section and change these fields. So I'm going to take you through the general shift of my organization. All the fields you see here are editable. I have set at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, login logout for my general shift. I can edit this obviously to say 9.30 or 10.30. I've also given a grace time of 30 minutes. Again, this field is editable. So by this, what I've defined is 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. shift with a 30 minute grace, which means if a user comes in at say 10.45, uh, uh, there will be a late incoming anomaly that will be generated. And similarly, if they leave before 5.30 p.m., an early leaving anomaly will be generated. Now, as an organization, if you follow more flexible timing, all you'll have to do is change the grace time here. You can make this to 60 minutes or 90 minutes or 120 minutes, depending on the level of flexibility you provide. So once that is done, your users will have that much leeway to come in late or leave early, depending on the grace time you have set and no anomalies will be generated for those. Work duration is where you define the minimum duration that uh, a user has to put in for the day. So this is divided into first and second half uh, of the day. Uh, if you see 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. is my first half and I put minimum duration of three. So if a user have work, has worked three hours in the first half, I'll count it as you know first half present. Similarly, for 1 to 6 p.m. in the second half, instead of five hours, I've put it as a four hour work duration as a minimum. So in total, I put a seven hour work duration. So now if a user works less than seven hours, say six, 50, six hours, 55 minutes as well, there will be a work duration anomaly that will be generated for that particular user. The third type of uh, anomaly is break time. Now as an organization, if you do not monitor break, all you'll have to do is just disable this option and save. And anomalies related to break timing will not be generated. But if it is enabled, there are two sorts of anomalies here. One is the number of breaks a user takes versus the duration of the breaks, like the total number of minutes. I've set it for three breaks, totaling up to 45 minutes. If a user now takes four breaks, but still within 45 minutes, there will be a break, a number of break anomaly that will be generated. And similarly, for anything exceeding 45 minutes, uh, a duration anomaly will be generated. So these are the types of anomalies uh, that will uh, be created for any user depending on the settings you have defined here. Um, uh, please note all the anomalies can be regularized by an employee. They can write to the manager uh, explaining why um, a certain uh, why they came in late or left early and it can be regularized with approval. So the anomaly count will total count will go down based on the regularization. Once you have that, we have also given an option of leave deductions, you know, automatically or connected to anomalies. So what I have said is any at the end of the month, if a user has five anomalies, uh, a half a day leave will be deducted. And if they have more than five, if it comes to eight, a full day leave will be deducted. I have defined the order of leave deduction. It's going to be casual leave, uh, earned leave and then loss of pay depending on the leave balance. This can be also enabled for automatic leave deduction. So if I enable auto leave deduction at the end of the month, depending on post regularization, whatever the anomalies are there, depending on that, the uh, leaves will be deducted automatically. So this is how you define your shift rules. Uh, as you can, my general shift and UK shift is done. What I can do, what I have to do next is just go to apply rules and assign it to the employees. So I can either select one employee at a time or I can select all at a time or I can just go by department, say select technology and assign all of them a certain shift rule. And that is how my shift rules are assigned. Uh, all the users will also get a notification. As you see here, they will get an email notification and a notification will also pop up in their credit login saying a shift rule has been assigned to them. 
once this is done they can also use the web clock feature so it is important to assign a shift rule before web clock is enabled so that is uh, all about define creating and defining shift rules for your organization and how to assign them if you need any more information please reach out to us at contact us at credibility.com thank you for watching the video